Hello learners and welcome to a video tutorial about the uh, drag force on an object and its relationship to uh, terminal speed. So <clears throat> we said that drag force was relate or can be pretty much defined by this equation where B is the drag coefficient of whatever object you are talking about, and then VT was the terminal velocity, and it was all taken to this power N. And during the coffee filter lab, your goal was to figure out what that N value was. So at that terminal velocity, the forces that you had acting on your object was weight, which is just mass times gravity, and then you also had this drag force up. And this drag force changed up until terminal velocity. And at that point, that drag force was equal and opposite in magnitude to your weight. Because again, it was at terminal velocity, meaning its acceleration was zero. And so you should have gotten a graph that showed a little bit of acceleration and then a constant linear position versus time. Okay, so if we think about Newton's second law and we take the sum of our forces to be our net force and that equals our mass times our acceleration. Well, at terminal velocity we have no acceleration which means that would equal zero. In other words, <clears throat> our drag force minus our weight, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter, minus our weight equals zero. The two are equal to each other. So, <clears throat> that being said, we could set this be vt in equal to mass times gravity. Now, we want to uh, figure out a way to solve for n. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to isolate VTN. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, divide both sides by B. So I've got VT to the N equal to MG over B. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So I've got natural log of vt to the n being equal to natural log of mg over b. Okay, well, the rules with a natural log, if you're multiplying, well, that's the natural log of sums, and if you're dividing, well, that's the natural log of a difference. But over here, here's what I can do. This vt to the n, well, I can actually take that n out and make it n natural log of vt equal to natural log of mg over b. Now I can divide over by n, giving me natural log of vt equals 1 over n times the natural log of, and then I could do natural log of m plus the natural log of g, all of that divided by natural log of b. But I'm just going to leave it as mg over b for right now. Now, looking at that, y equals mx. You could graph your terminal velocity, the natural log of it, versus the natural log of your weight. And you would get a graph with the slope pretty close to being equal to 1 over n. And you should have gotten n to be equal to 2.